Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell to get notified in the future. Let's begin. This spread is from all earth signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. Timestamps should be in the description box down below. We have the Six of Swords, clarified by the Five of Cups. We have Strength. Uh, we have uh, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, or pretty much any zodiac sign. This feels bittersweet. Let me explain. Let me give you a couple of examples. Say you are moving in with your boyfriend and your girlfriend or your fiancé. But at the same time, you have to move out <laughs> from where you live right now, right? Perhaps some of you could be moving out of your uh, parents' house, or if you live with your roommates, you could be moving out of that. So yeah, you want to move in with your fiancé, but at the same time, it's still kind of bittersweet because you're moving out. You know, for others of you, um, another example would be: say you are starting a new job the following week, but you're quitting. You have to obviously quit your existing job. So yes, the new job is better. Yes, it could be a promotion. Yes, you could be making more money. Perhaps it's a dream job you always wanted, but at the same time, it's bittersweet because you love the people you currently work with. Okay, so that's how it feels. You definitely have something new beginning, but at the same time, it's. Uh, sad for you to leave something or someone behind, right? The Six of Swords, the first card that came out, this is a card of moving forward, moving on, moving towards something better. The Six of Swords always talks about improvement, right? That, but it's clarified by the Five of Cups. The, this is where that bittersweet moment comes in, right? The, the Five of Cups, this is us, you know, like grieving a little bit, but at the same time, we're still we still realize that uh, what you're moving, what, what we are moving forward to is better for us. Strength in the middle could be a Leo you're dealing with, but strength could be a card of courage, right? Strength is the, literally having strength to do something. It's also a card of loyalty, right? And then we have uh, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, and uh, we have the star on the bottom of the deck. The star could be an Aquarius, the Wheel of Fortune could be a Sagittarius, but all those three cards are talking about new beginnings. The star is a wish come true card, something we usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. The Ace of Swords, um, is, uh, <clears throat> is a very decisive energy. So this is you saying, yes, I'm going to do it. Yes, uh, this is happening, right? Yes, this new beginning is taking place. And the Wheel of Fortune clarifying it is a card of a starting a new cycle. You know, a very fortunate new cycle. And uh, for some of you, you could be simply, if you are, if say if you are already married, if you already have a family, perhaps you are, you just purchased a new house, Right? Or you're renting a new place and uh, you're moving out of your current house or your current apartment. You know, the new house is better or bigger, newer, but uh, perhaps you spent lots and lots of uh, good times with friends, your family at your existing house. But you know that the new house is better. I hope that makes sense. All right? Cool. Uh, Taurus. Uh, we have uh, the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Four of Swords. We have uh, the Three of Cups. Uh, we have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the Knight of Cups, and we have the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, there is your Sagittarius, or a Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. But you already know who this is, right? I usually go with a King or a Queen if one of both show up, so we got this King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So it could be a fire sign. Here is Leo Sagittarius or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. If they're not a fire sign, it could be somebody who is uh, easy to get up and go. They could be like um, a leader in their local community. You know, somebody who is very active. And uh, spoiler alert, but for some of you, you already know what's coming your way, right? Uh, you are going to spend most of the week waiting for particular events. Right? And that event comes during this weekend. And uh, you already know what's going to happen to us, right? This person is going to tell you they love you. This person is going to tell you you're the love of their life. This person is going to just do some something really, really romantic. Okay? <laughs> if that's what you're expecting, then yes. Spoiler alert, that's exactly what you're going to get. <laughs> Alright, so we start off with the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Four of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting. I think that's you and perhaps both of you waiting, right, for this weekend. Uh, the Four of Swords clarifying it is literally just 
waiting, doing nothing, or doing a lot of thinking. Right, then here comes the weekend, uh, the Three of Cups, the next card over is either a card of a reunion or it's a card of some kind of a celebration. You know, it, it, it could be simply a date but a big, big major date, right? Perhaps it's going to be like a fancy restaurant or dinner and a movie um, or they could take you out to some kind of a show, concert, opera or something like that, right? And uh, at some point during the weekend, the Ace of Cups clarified by the Knight of Cups will play out. Most likely at that event with the Three of Cups, right? Just the Ace of Cups or just the Knight of Cups would have been plenty for me to assume that this person is in love with you. <laughs> and they're going to confess their love to you. They're going to do a major, major, I don't know, you can leave me a comment, let me know what exactly they've prepared for you, right? But when those two cards show up in the same reading, especially when one clarifying the other, yes, it's just going to be something major, something big, and uh, yes, this person loves you, in love with you, and all that stuff. <laughs> all right, so again, spoiler alert, all right? Virgo, we have uh, the Page of Wands, clarified by the Six of Swords. Uh, we have uh, the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Swords. We have the Two of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. And we also have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. Well, um, over the weekend, perhaps even starting Friday, you will be facing some kind of a difficulty. You'll feel stuck, trapped, and uh, you're gonna reach out to somebody, you're gonna ask for help, you're gonna ask for assistance, this person is gonna come to your rescue to help you out, to give you a helping hand, and uh, <clears throat> who knows what happens next. <laughs> if this is about work, business, and finances, it could be a start of a very productive long-term partnership, okay? If this is about love, um, then uh, it's something that's gonna last a long time. You know, perhaps um, you may even um, tie the knot to the, with this person, right? Um, perhaps it's both work-related and love. Perhaps somebody is gonna help you out. Somebody you work with, they will help you out. And uh, you know, next thing, next thing you know, the two of you are more more than just co co-workers, more than just colleagues. All right, so here's the deal. We have uh, the page of ones, the first card I came out, which is clarified by the Six of Swords. I, this is a message, and I think this message is coming from you, Virgo, all right, because you're struggling with something or will be struggling with something. The Ten of Wands clarified by the Eight of Swords, that's it right there. The Ten of Wands is a card of a burden. It's a card of uh, difficulty, something we struggle with. It's just a a card of something that's taken a toll on us. Uh, the Eight of Swords clarifying it, this is a card of somebody who's stuck because they can't figure it out, because they can't manage it all by themselves, right? So yeah, you, have, you need help, and there's nothing wrong with asking for help, right? And um, help you will receive. <laughs> Here comes the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody coming in real, real quick because they want to help you out, they want to assist you, they want to help you alleviate all those issues that you're experiencing with the Ten of Wands. Okay? The Page of Wands is clarified by the Six of Swords, all the way to your left. And that was actually the last card that I clarified, right? The Six of Swords is a card of an improvement. It's a card of a rough touch being over. It's a card of things getting better because this person is going to come and help you out, right? And uh, at the end, we have the Two of Cups clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So there you go, Virgo. So for some of you, if this is just purely work-related, then the Two of Cups is a card of a handshake, right? So you will create some kind of a partnership, some kind of an alliance. The Ace of Pentacles clarifying that, something that's a golden opportunity, something that's going to go a long way between the two of you. Because you work together, in, because you know this, you can trust this person, you can, you know, rely upon this person, and that's why we have the Ace of Pentacles. If this is about love, then, uh, yeah, long term. You know, for some of you, like I said, it could be both. Somebody who will help you with your work, your business, and, uh, you know, next one thing leads to another, and uh, the two of you are more than just co-workers, right? The Two of Cups, in this case, is a soulmate card. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when two people 
feel the same way towards one another. And the Ace of Pentacles is still a golden opportunity. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to get serious, ready to start a family, that type of stuff. Long term. Always long term. <laughs> All right, Virgo? Cool. Capricorn. Uh, we have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Six of Wands clarified by the Sun, and we have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Libra, um, or uh, Leo, or pretty much any zodiac sign. This spread could be about money, <laughs> or it could be about you getting married. Okay? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, let's talk about money first, right, to get it out of the way. The Five of Pentacles, the first card that came out, this is a card of somebody who literally is struggling financially. Right? Perhaps you didn't, you're not making enough money, or perhaps there is a pending lawsuit, or there is a pending uh, government assistance, there is a pending loan, what have you. Right? And here it comes. Right? The Page of Pentacles, the next card over, this is money coming your way. It's not really a lot of money, but it's money nevertheless. For some of you, it could be like a settlement. Right? Uh, and it could be like a structured payment. So the Page of Pentacles is one of the many payments, the first, the initial payment. Justice on the bottom of the deck. For some of you, it's literally the legal system, the judicial system, court order, or what have you. Okay, or perhaps it's just lawyers uh, figuring this thing out for you. Uh, but uh, with the justice card, things always, uh, you know, go in our favor. Um, with the, all the other cards we have on the table, this is definitely going in your favor with all the other cards together with the justice card, right? Um, yeah, the six of ones clarified by, by the sun right next to the deck, yeah, there you go. The six of ones is a card of victory and success for some of you, again, literally winning a court case. Now, for others of you, you, you'll just feel like you've won. And the Six of Wands is also a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. The Sun clarifying it could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. All right, So you'll definitely feel happy about this decision that goes in your favor. If this is about love, uh, Capricorn, then um, say you are already in a relationship with somebody, right? And uh, you're kind of, you were hoping, or you were hoping that uh, you will go all the way with this person, but you started losing hope, <laughs> right? And the Five of Pentacles is you losing hope, feeling kind of sad about this whole thing, feeling left out in the cold, right? And uh, here comes the proposal, or here comes the offer to move in together, here comes the offer to make it official, here comes the offer to take it to the next level. All right, and uh, you know things will turn around for you. The Page of Pentacles, the next card over. I'm I'm sure you've heard me say this before. Never, ever, ever underestimate the Page of Pentacles because it's because it could be something tangible, something you can touch. So a key to their place qualifies, right? Because it's something tangible, something you can touch. An engagement ring also qualifies. <laughs> Because it's something tangible, something you can touch, right? The six of ones, the next card over, it used to be called the proposal card. It's not only a victory and success card, it's a proposal card, right? It's clarified by the sun. The sun could be a Leo, or a yellow, but the sun is the happiest card in the deck. You see, this is like a completely opposite polar energies from the five of pentacles. And the five of pentacles will feel lonely, left out in the cold, we feel sad. With the sun, we always feel on top of the world. Justice on the bottom of the deck, you know, good karma. Yeah, justice could be an actual place where people get married, like a chapel. Justice could still be the legal system, right? And in this case, you know, when people get married, they sign a piece of paper, right? <laughs> Agreeing to terms, and then that piece of paper is submitted with the local government, right? So justice could be that local government. So, yeah. Either way, no matter what the scenario is, I think by the end of the weekend, you'll feel like the, the, like the kid in the sun card. Happy. <laughs> All right? Cool. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.